What's going on YouTube? It's Sean here and I am back today to give you guys a review of the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG in the Paris Saint Germain colorway. These dropped last week on November 3rd for 160 US dollars or $215 here in Canada. The official colorway for this shoe is black, white and challenge red. So this shoe is a collaboration between Jordan brand and football or soccer club Paris Saint Germain. One thing I want to point out before we get into the review is the actual label on the box as well as the description on Nike.ca it states Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG BCFC which stands for Birmingham City Football Club. So Birmingham City Football Club I'm not exactly sure how that ties into PSG. So if anyone out there knows let me know in the comment section down below otherwise I'm just going to assume that it's just due to error. Regardless though let's take a deeper look into the shoe. So unlike your traditional Air Jordan 1, which is typically constructed out of leather, in this case, Jordan Brand's official description states that this is constructed out of canvas, but in hand, this really feels like neoprene or nylon. On the midfoot of both the lateral side and the medial side, here we have this black leather swoosh. And then found on the ankle collar area only on the lateral side, here we have this Jordan Wings logo patch. This is stitched directly onto the canvas. The tongue in this case is constructed out of that same material found on the rest of the body of the shoe and on the very top of the tongue we have this red, black and white stripe. This is also found on the back of PSG's jerseys as well. On the flip side of the tongue we have the PSG logo in black along with this Jumpman logo found right in the center. Overlaid on top of the tongue we have the laces which in this case is a flat style lace in black. But if we take a closer look at the lace tips, so these come with special metal lace tips with the Jumpman logo in red. In addition to the stock black laces, they also come with a secondary pair of red laces if you want to give this shoe more pop. In terms of the back of the shoe, so nothing special here, this is also constructed out of that black canvas or nylon material and right in the center we have this square patch of black leather. The inside liner of the shoe is pretty well padded and then taking a look at the insole, so these come with a white colored insole, we have this thick band running down the center along with the French phrase ici c'est Paris which stands for this is Paris on the heel. The upper of these PSG Jordan 1s sits atop this white foam midsole and then underneath the heel on the lateral side once again we have that red, black and white stripe pattern and this is glued directly onto the midsole. Encapsulated within the midsole itself, we do have a Nike Air sole unit. This is found underneath the heel. Flipping these over to the bottom, so here we have your classic standard Air Jordan 1 outsole. This is entirely done in black rubber, and in the middle, we have the Nike logo. From a sizing standpoint, so these fit the same to me as all my other Air Jordan 1s, so for most people, that means true to size. In my case, that means going to a size 10.5. I didn't find that having the canvas or the nylon material, whatever you want to call it, it didn't really change the fit of the shoe to me. So whatever your normal size is for Jordan 1s, I'd recommend sticking with that same size for these PSG 1s. From a quality standpoint, so honestly there's not too much going on with this shoe. The base layer of the shoe is going to be different than your traditional leather, so that does take some getting used to. But overall this feels like any other run of the mill Jordan 1. So with all that being said, now let me lace these up and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. To be completely honest with you guys, these PSG ones are very simple and very basic. If you guys are looking for a very versatile pair of Air Jordan ones, then look no further with these guys. And for me, they're not my most memorable pair of Air Jordans by any means. But if I'm looking for a more understated pair of Jordan ones that kind of goes under the radar with just a little bit of pop with these red accents on the tongue and on the heel, then I would easily grab these PSG ones to wear. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of these PSG Air Jordan ones. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Give me a follow on my Instagram at esco8, check out my Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website as well at seangoca
So until next time, thank you guys so much for tuning in and hopefully I'll catch you guys in my next video.